Okay, so uh, finally made it out to the to the St. John's, and uh, I just pulled over to uh, what I did was change over the tiller the tiller handle to the uh, other side of the motor. You can see there's two there's two sides you can mount that tiller handle on, and uh, I didn't like I had it on I had it on on this side over here. I didn't like it. I uh, didn't like the way it was. Just um, wasn't a good spot, so switched it over. And the the nice thing about these new tiller handles is they have the uh, the bend to them, so you're able to articulate it back and forth to uh, really suit your needs to where it's comfortable for you. That's a real real nice new improvement over the other ones. Um, originally. I think I might have mentioned it in the other one of the other videos. Is is the original tiller handles were um, just like spun, just just aluminum with a ball molded into the the end of it, and just straight out. Uh, I I like those two. They worked fine. This is a real good improvement. It allows you uh, give you some options as to uh, where you want to set it to be comfortable and what works best for you. So that's a great improvement. I. Uh, when I first did the unboxing, I had what I thought was the new and improved one, because it was um, it was different uh, in the fact that it had one inch in the back and seven eighths in the front, and allowed for the uh, the new rubber handle and the new uh, the squeeze throttle. So that was an improvement in itself, and that's I guess still an option. But they went a step farther and and created these. Because I called them, and the uh, the one that came with the box was like 35 inches long, and I need a good 47 inches, or I need 47 inches to to get out to where I stand on this on this John boat, uh, just because of the, the width of the rear seat and where I stand uh, in relation to the motor. I need I need 47 inches to be comfortable to operate, and that's what those are. So um, that's what'll be coming with the new kits. I'm not even sure it's introduced to the kitchen. I think they're just in the process, from what I understand, on introducing this into their line. So this might be the first one out there. And um, got lucky enough to uh, was lucky enough, or uh, they were nice enough to to send this one when I was talking when I told them the uh, the length of it was too short. So uh, there you go. Everything's running good. Uh, one thing I'll have to do when I get home is is move the motor as we look at it right now. I got to move it to the left. When you when you operate these, there's a wake. The wake that comes off your boat meets in the center, and you want that prop to sit right in that wake. I'll tell you what, I'll try to do. I get some some video of that while I'm moving to show you how it's not tracking right, and that's remedied just by moving the motor. Uh, in, in this case, uh, to the left. Is where I got to get it to uh, the track right. So that's what we'll do when we get home. And I love the water, or the St. John's anyway.
something you can do to um, do a complete turnaround with these things is just barely touch the bottom of that prop into the water and, and you'll turn right around. 